Today we'll be having a look at a pen for which I have received quite a couple of review requests, and I think one of the reasons is that uh, it's a pen, this is a fountain pen, but you actually also have this pen with a high-tech uh, gel refill. Um, this is clearly the fountain pen, and it is the Pilot Cavalier. Interesting pen with a Japanese fine nib, and as I've discussed before, typically Japanese nibs are one nib grade below a Western nib counterpart. So, for example, a Japanese medium would be like a Western fine, and a Japanese fine like a Western extra fine. So, this is a very fine nib. They come in a bunch of finishes. This is a um, relatively girly pink, I would say. Um, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Okay, let's start at the very top of the pen, the finial, right there. Uh, it's very gold, as you can see, very reflective. And then we have a clip. The clip is gold colored as well. And it's very tight. It's a very tight clip. Um, but it is rounded off a bit, so you can at least slide it into a pen pouch or a shirt pocket. And you have this little gold ring that goes with the cap, center band, and then we go down to the barrel. And then here you have another gold end cap thingy with a little bit of a lip. I don't know how you can see that to see that, but it's there. And if I were to post the pen, you can hear that it clicks in place. It posts very securely, which is nice. Okay, then we have a section, same material as the barrel and the cap, uh, which I sorry, it's not the same material. It's the same color. That's what I thought. That's why I wanted to check it again. And um, the, the barrel seems to have a somewhat metallic finish. And the section is smoother. And I think that uh, the section is plastic, whereas the barrel is metal. Yeah. Um, but it's the same color. And I like that because in a lot of pens, I'm trying to refocus here, in a lot of pens, you get a section that is either black and, or it doesn't match the, the pen barrel. And this makes for a very nice unity. I like that. Okay, then you have the nib. The nib is gold colored, but as far as I could find out, it's not actually gold. Interesting shape. Uh, pilot, you can see it's it's really fine. And then you have this feed, and the, uh, the nib actually clips onto that. But it's not so easy to remove. I had some issues with that. So don't think you can just easily swap it out or something. I don't even know if there's other nibs for this pen. The only converter that fits is the CON20, which is an aerometric converter. So it has a little rubber sack. Uh, you compress this bar, put in an ink bottle, compress it, and then when you let go of it, the sack decompresses, it draws up ink in that manner. And you can also put in uh, the pilot uh, convert, uh, sorry, the pilot cartridges. That's this very wide opening, as you can see. That's what the section looks like. Okay, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, it's a very, very slim pen. Uh, here I have something that's a lot bigger, Delta Dolce Vita oversized, but you can see how small and slim this pen is. And that's not really a fair comparison. But here I have a uh, Waterman Karen, which is a much more normally sized pen. You can see that even compared to that, it's very slim. Some people really love that. Personally, I have very large hands, and then it's a little tough to grip uh, this uh, the pen for longer writing sessions. So that can be a love and hate thing. I like the uh, section, but it's very smooth with extended writing. If your hands do become a little bit sweaty or a bit greasy, that may become a bit slippery. It is a decently sized pen when it comes to length. I have no problems with that. You can even post it. And then it will become a little top heavy because it is a metal cap, but it's not horrible. So I kind of enjoy this size as it is posted. The one thing I will say is that although the nib is very fine, in my experience, Japanese nibs are also very smooth. They can give a little bit of feedback, but they're not scratchy. And even the very fine nibs typically are polished in a very nice manner, giving a very pleasant writing experience. I think that also goes for this pen. Although you will get a very fine line, it's actually quite nice, and it's uh, pleasant to use. So I think that's a, a big plus. All right. It's a $45 pen, 
and for that you will get a metal body and a nice nib and the capacity uh, to use both cartridges or a converter which I think is pretty nice all right let's have a look at some measurements capped the pen has a total length of 5.35 inches that's 136 millimeters uncapped 122.2 millimeters that is 4.81 inches section diameter at the narrowest point is 0.30 inches that's 7.7 .7 millimeters at the widest point it's 8.4 millimeters that is 0.33 of an inch as to its weight, I just switch on my scale down there. Inked up, I get a weight of 20 grams exactly, which makes this not a super light pen, but definitely not a very heavy one either. I think what we need to do next is a writing sample. That's what's coming up. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with this Pilot Cavalier. The nib is fine, and the ink is Gerbin Bouquet Danton. All right, let's do some writing. As you can see, the line is really fine. as was expected from a Japanese fine. So if you like really fine nibs, this is really something that you, you might appreciate. Now when it comes to fast writing, the nice thing I also appreciate about Japanese pens is that the feet typically keeps up very well uh, with the ink flow. Here was a bit of a skip, but that was actually me misaligning the nib. Apart from that, it really works well. As to wetness, you can actually see maybe that it seems to dislocate some paper fibers. You see that where it's thicker. That's because it's quite sharp, but that's what you get when a nib is so fine. It's not scratchy though. It gives some feedback, but it's, it's really a, a pretty pleasant writing experience, which I find very pleasing considering it's such a fine nib. Okay, now as to line variation, I'm going to apply more and more pressure. You see, you can actually squeeze out a bit. Uh, but it's just a, a relatively uh, broad nib. Now, uh, sorry, a relatively fine nib. Just to give you an idea, here I have a broad nib and a Delta Dolce Vita oversize. And then if you compare it to this, you will see that this really is a very, very fine nib. As to reverse writing, typically people do that to get a final line. It's possible, but it's very scratchy and it actually digs into the paper and fills the nib with paper fiber. So I wouldn't recommend it with this nib. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So, I hope this was useful and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.